The boy poured a whole bag of chestnuts into a basin of water. The bad ones float up and the good ones sink. He threw out the bad chestnuts one by one. Then he learned from a woman selling chestnuts to fry chestnuts well. The stones must be small and smooth. So the boy bought 20 pounds of small round pebbles and when he saw the woman spraying the chestnuts with sauce so he took a taste when the woman wasn't looking afterwards he went home and made his own concoction with syrup and water everything was ready the boy spent a lot of money on a fully automatic chestnut frying machine he thought it would produce the best chestnuts in thailand but it's hard to control the temperature of the chestnuts the chestnuts exploded one after another like popcorn however after several failures, the boy finally made chestnuts that wowed his family. Then he rented a two square meter stall in the snack street. He officially started his own chestnut frying business. But three days passed. Only five boxes of chestnuts were sold. The other stalls were packed with customers every day. The boy wondered what was wrong. Is there something wrong with the way I sell? So he took advantage of his girlfriend's shopping time, watching the other vendors carefully. But as he walked, he discovered another key factor. The donation box in front of the toilet was 